Hello, hello, guys and girls. I'm Kimmo here, and welcome back for another video. Today, we're in the airship, airship docks. And let's continue the quest. Oh, that was the finishing of the quest. That's nice. Let's heal up real quick before doing anything else. Miss, miss, miss. Oh, come on. Oh, my. And we're up for a battle. Yes. Okay, two pirates. Air pirates, if you want to be exact. Let's activate that real quick. Then this pirate is allowed to attack. Whoa, the damage, okay. Um, let's do that then real quick. Then the other pirate is allowed to attack. Okay, she didn't get rid of her uh, effect, so double damage for this. And then it's just, I think just finishing it up. Okay. Ooh, the damage. Okay, I just basically take her to death. Uh, let's try to sleep again because I'm like worse than I was before sleeping. Let's upgrade that real quick. And let's go camping again. Okay, that's a safe one. Another safe one. Okay. That's perfect. Ready for action. Yes, indeed. It's about time. Flying ships. You see the surf. You see several flying ships dock docked at the sky pier. Okay. They aren't probably in good mood for discussion. I'll try anyway. Hey, Mr. Pirate, are you in a good mood for the discussion? Your party is being attacked. Oh my God. Okay, that'll be something. The damage is really high though, so we need to be careful. 41 damage. Let's attack the back one. And then my other characters are allowed to go next. This one. So let's double the damage on that. Okay. And let's activate this. And then they're well, really well softened up. So next turn with my characters I can kill them probably. Uh, let's heal him. And give some energy to the rest of them. Nice, resisted. Okay. Um, I don't need to do anything. Just do that and then kill him off with this. Okay, perfect. I need some more like HP or damage reduction on my tank, probably. Uh, I'll do that later. Nice, now we have uh, our own flying ship. Hey, that's nice. Now get to your very own flying ship. Get to the, okay. Air powered ship. Everything seems so small from up here. Let's go. Ah, uh, nice. It's a boat instead of a horse. Oh, this looks awesome. Okay, we got some investigation to do. Okay, that was a bummer. And that's one good roll. Maybe one more? Yes, okay. Only one more to go for the first treasure. And two treasures at once. Okay, big birds. Something, sometimes birds land on the ship. Sometimes these birds are very, very big. Okay. The ship cook has learned a recipe or two in his travels around Paperus. With a bit of coin, he is happy to share it with you the secrets of an exotic dish. Okay. Let's go for four more. That's at least one. Then three more to go. One more, one more, one more. Ah. Okay, last one. The ship cook would have loved to sell your even more recipes, but it turned out he knew exactly two dishes. Oh, okay. Hmm, it's at least something. And we got this. Oh, it's for resurrecting. Oh, that's nice. And 30 energy. And we still have our potions. Okay. And a joker. Your damage range is increased by 20%. I still don't really know what damage range is, I haven't looked it up. Yeah. Okay, quest. John Eagle, hello land slubbers, may I ask what you're doing on my ship? 
No, no, this is our ship now. We won it in a perfectly fair fight. And you may leave now. Sure, but I must con correct you. The air pirate code dictates, dictates that when the captain of the ship is um, unavailable, the previous captain gets ownership of the ship, if immediately available. And uh, here I am. How convenient. You might also want to consider all the skills and experience required to fly steering this thing. Okay, so it takes some expertise to fly a ship. I'm also more than happy to get you to any location you want in exchange for the ownership of this beauty. My dear flying papery. Oh well, if you can get us to the place where that scientist guy Yes, now you can have the ship. I doubt you can. As you say that, as you say this, the captain seems a bit puzzled, but suddenly gives you a wide smile. Ha, huh, I'll take you to the secret laboratory. You must be there. Ooh, nice. I like that guy. And some more healing. Or the specif. The specif is good, but I like the healing. Okay. Um, do we need to rest? Nah, no, not really. Let's just continue the quest then. Ace of the Aces. Level 16. Okay. I can deal with that probably. Start. Ha! Huh. I smell a battle. There's a sh pirate ship approaching. Uh, oh, they are attacking. Let me just get my sword and show them that they picked the wrong ship. As John slips to the cabin, a group of angry air pirates jumps to the deck to the flying paper paperian. Paperian. Oh damn. So much text. I'm not ready today. Um, let's start with this. Okay. And after that, uh, I don't really need the healing, but I could use it for the energy, so let's go anyway. Um, these are in wrong order, these two guys. That's pretty annoying. Um, deal 30 damage then, and then fireball them. Fireball! And go. That's a 20 burn. Um, take the aggro, thank you very much. Okay. Nice, he aggroed that guy. All going as planned. We killed one person off already. Oh damn, the damage. Okay, um, let's heal him up just in case. And I don't really need the fireball, I think. And 11 to 17. Okay, I'm not able to do that. And this doesn't do the trick either. Pretty close though. It's like 2 health, probably. 1 health. Okay, finish there up. Okay. That went well. Here I come, just to po point me at the leader, and I'll take care of him. They're long gone. Great, we're doing well here, mates. Ahoy, we're closing on the islands you're looking for. We're there already. That green smoke over there comes from the secret laboratory. I'll dock alongside that balcony, like so. And now mates, whenever your land slubbers need to do some flying, let me know. I added you to my regular roads to the map. I added my regular roads. Okay, to your map. Nice. There we are. Now let's travel to the secret laboratory balcony. Okay, travel. Oh, that's all over there. Oh, we can do. Oh, nice. We can fly from the laboratory to the plains of Null, for example, or from the airship docks to Jarvis Point. Oh, that's so nice. That cuts down the timing of flying a lot. Tower of Bears, okay. That's nice. And uh, let's go there then. Uh, laboratory. Okay. And you get an air fight. Oh no. We get a fight inside of the laboratory. What's this? It looks weird. Um, it has 184 health, that's quite a lot. It doesn't have that much resistance. And it doesn't deal that much damage. Okay. At least I hope he doesn't deal that much damage every time. Could be that I'm just lucky with that roll. 
And that's his death. Okay. Ooh, 600 XP from only one enemy. That's a lot. What's... Display Beast. Okay. That's his name. And we got some investigation to do. That's one. Three more to go. I'm just looking at the backgrounds while rolling. I really like the scenery of this game. Okay. Apprentice product. Okay, that's the uh, mana potion. That's always nice. Do we need to rest? Let's do it anyway, just in case. And we got two rolls, that's fine. Okay. Funny how fast HP regenerates. Yes, indeed. You easily get to the third floor and find a fully equipped laboratory. Shelves are filled with alchemy books and scrolls. Oh, please, this is exactly the same as the laboratory at the Tower of Brass. Oh, uh, well, there are only a couple of uh, companies that provide decent laboratories for an RPG setting. Anyways, there are no uh, mustache. There's there are no moustached guys with yellow overalls this time. Instead, you notice that the brain inside the jar is trying to communicate with you. Ooh. Oh, well, I can see it, that it's wiggling its wrinkles, making brain waves. What is it trying to say? I have no mouth and I must howl. Don't you know this is the only son of the and ever grown pulsating brain that controls the ultra world from the center of the universe. Oh my god, the text. Now that you mentioned it, I see the resemblance. What is the lever over there? On slash off. Should we push it? Uh, leave. Just leave it. Maybe I shut off the brain or something. Just so be safe and don't do it. You decide to leave the lever. lever to the on position. As you turn to the turn to look around the room, one of the doors opens and Okay, the guy steps in. Hey, there he is. Hello adventures. What brings you here to the laboratory of the greatest mind of all papers? Hey you're the scientist. We're looking for you. You've noticed that the scientist has a blank stare and his movements are clumsy and robot-like. The basic sign of the mind control. I suppose that he acts as a speaking channel for the brain? You got that right. I read from the mind that you want to take scientists from me. I cannot let you do that. You ca Can't you find a less important person for your mind to control hobbies? Being the most intelligent and cunning being on this plane of existence, I prefer smart conversations. Okay, we got two questions for him. Where's the fighting option? Violence is not an option. And you're no match for me. But I suppose that you want to communicate with the, tri the scientist now. Uh, okay. Brain in the jar. Wiggle wiggle. Wiggle wiggle. Whoa, hey, who are you? And what are you doing here? We need to get to, to the past and unearth an ancient artifact to defeat the evil paper knight. Now give me that map and be gone. I have finally found an intellect I can call equal. Map? One does not simply walk to the past. There you are, now go. What? Hmm, I added the past to the map. Apparently we can just walk there. What? What? We can just walk to the past like, hey, let's go on a journey. Light up my HP or time to travel. Um, hmm. Let's do the side quest first, I think. I'm healed up, so that's fine. You again, I told you to be gone. We were uh, just passing by. Looking for odd jobs, I suppose. Is he mocking us? He's one of the brightest minds in the world. He can deduct in intentions. Show, don't tell. 
As it happens, I do have a task for you. There are some ingredients I need for a new potion of healing. And you need us to get them from, from some remote and dangerous location. Ah. You're not as stupid as your mind stats. Whoa, okay. Okay, go to the swamp. It's a real recipe. To the swamp it is. Okay. That is... Right there. 25. Let's see how many miss rolls we make. Okay, that's one safe travel. It's another safe travel. It will get easier every time. That was a really easy one. It's a bit more difficult, but it's doable. And we failed the last one, but that doesn't, that doesn't matter because we're already there. Ooh, fancy swamp. Swamp. Okay. They are in, in wrong order again. It's always nice to see. Ooh, super very effective. Super effective, whatever. Let's just basically take that guy and don't have much else to do. Uh, let's do that. How much health does he have? Eight. Eight health, okay. Um, he's dead, okay. Let's use this spell. It deals 55, that's a lot. Then, just basic attack, I think. Yes, okay. Oh, we're lifting up in the air. Okay. Um, I probably should rest real quick. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh. And we have the same problem again. Oh, it's only one today. Okay. That's doable. And my tank is allowed to attack first. That's always nice to see. Let's do that. And number three, number four. Okay. You can just heal yourself and then do that. Like, don't have much else as a choice. Okay, and you can just easily kill them. Yay! Ring of Minor Endurance. And we're lo lifting up in the air again. As you wander around the swamps looking for the herbs, you hear a cries for help. Ooh, you hear cries for help. Someone needs our help. I bet it's... Okay. Rushing to the help, you see a young lady being harassed by a group of knolls. Ha! Knolls are my ranger's radical enemies. Racial enemies. There's no ranger claws in this game. Always worth the try. Let's deal with the knolls. Whoa, five of them. Okay, uh, interesting. And yeah. Okay. This will take a lot of health. Okay, um, I want to get to my um, tank loss so we can use his ability to tank to generate threat. Yes, okay. Let's use some, some odd one on the side. Okay. Then do this. That's 30 damage to everyone. And a fireball in the middle to inflict, inflict burn to every single one. And again, they are in the wrong position. This guy has um, initiative 10. This guy has initiative 8. And he's always in front. Like always, most of the time. Okay. Three of them, uh, or four of them have still still have to burn. So that's nice. Whoa. Okay. Uh, could use some healing now. Let's just heal yourself. That was a really strong attack. Um... Take the one with most HP. And um, should probably attack that guy. Just so everyone gets hit, probably. And just clear him up. Okay. That was doable. Expect for the gigantic hit on my uh, cleric. And some nice amount of experience. That's 35. And the fireball goes to. I can't upgrade it anymore. Okay. So we need to upgrade anything, something else. Frostbite. Do 5 damage and inflict stun. Hmm. The stun is nice. Do 4 damage to a row of enemies. 
more spell damage plus one resource uh, one energy each turn that's really nice for longer uh, fights you can just keep on going with on longer fights with this let's do that okay and then uh, should we camp now nah. young lady you stole my XP oh god what we just saved you as if I need saving you realize it might have been the knolls who were screaming earlier oh my god <laughs> uh, right what are you doing here I was hired by a scientist in a laboratory to find some red herbs you too that was two timing okay you could join our party for this quest hmm well if you don't slow me down okay sure um, do we need to find someone or just continue the quest? Okay, just continue the quest. Nearing the Gnoll's lair, you start to hear some sound of fighting. More young ladies? I work alone. It seems the lair is under attack by a herd of purple bunnies. Which side do you take? Uh, bunnies are cute, let's help them. I don't like the bunnies. In this game, they are quite weird. I don't know. Um, but to see, okay, if you uh, help them, you probably see them less than you than when you're fighting against them. But I just don't like the bunnies in this game. Knolls, let's fight the bunnies. Like, look at their, like, their ch like their chin. Like, what is this? I don't know. It's weird. Um. Do that real quick and let's see four five six and then we're allowed to attack with seven eight okay that's fine let's heal that guy up and then do that I'll take all oh, okay that's a nice amount of damage I could probably clear them with my uh, fireball at least one of them um, let's do that one you inflict burn to every single one of the other enemies and with my tank you can probably kill the, uh, the one that's like soloed like uh, split off from the from the rest of the group that's what I wanted to say uh, out of energy okay punch him punch the bunny please don't, don't do that in real life please don't okay and just finish it up Okay, let's finish this quest and call it episode after that. After the dust settles, you notice that the young lady has taken care of the gnolls too. She sure is hungry for experience, poor gnolls. Looting the camp, you find a stash of red hot chili peppers. These seem to be the herb. Okay, I was, I was just waiting for a group of people to show up, but okay. Wait, I don't think chilies grow in a swamp. Are you questioning the initiative wisdom of the DM? I guess you can grow here in a fantasy world world they can grow here yes they are the favorite food of the swamps dragon swamp dragons you define the herb with the young lady and she goes on her way okay we got the herb and now let's get back okay safe travel not a safe travel please get us so far okay and we're flying again Pretty fast sprite. And we missed the last one, but that's fine. Up, at, up against two brains. At least like two things in the box, like whatever. Um, still out of energy. Uh, but and do the fireball on the one with the most health. And do that. Do tank their attacks because they'll probably deal some damage. So, health and energy restore. I really like my, the combination of my party. Ooh, that damage. Okay, that was doable. And it's just not enough to kill him. But you can just clear him out. Okay. That worked quite well. Let's finish this quest. 
Here are the herbs. I'm not sure what the magical uh, properties of a chili has though. Oh none. Spices in the hood these days and with the damage down. We need new selling potions. Points. Okay. Weird. Oh that experience. Okay. Thank you all very much for watching this episode. Have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next one soon. Where we, where, what are we going to do? We are going to travel to the past. Ooh, that's quite interesting. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day and bye bye.